YouTube, good morning on this Sunday, Christ morning, man. We call it Christ morning. Shout out to the guy, that new subscriber. Shout out to everybody. I want y'all to keep supporting the channel. We're gonna grow this into a thing. This is called. I changed my name. I hope y'all see it. It's called David Christ Culture and Sports. The reason why I named it that. We all need Christ. We all Christ alike. Even whatever it is, we all believe in Christ. That we need God in this world. Culture. We talk about culture on this topic. It's sports. You know we love our sports. Speaking of sports, let's get right into our sports topic today. In the hood, like I made a video a few minutes ago. In the hood, where I'm from, I, I just got a like. I got some hood friends, some real hood friends. They love LeBron James. I don't know why. They be on like they love LeBron James. But I noticed in the hood, it's Kobe being Brian. In the mainstream media, it's LeBron James. And it's Michael Jordan. So, in the mainstream media, it's Michael Jordan. In the hood, it's, it's Jordan. In the mainstream media, it's LeBron James. But in the hood, it's Kobe Bean Bryant. It's not even a close question. And the reason that it's Kobe Bean Bryant because we go out there, we want to, like me personally, when I go out there and hoop, I practice Kobe Bryant moves. I can't even front. When my nephew go out there, they practice Kobe Bryant moves. When my brother go out there, we practice Kobe Bryant moves. When the girls out there who work, they practice Kobe Bryant moves. When we in open gym, we practice Kobe Bryant moves. When we play in open, we playing four and four, five and five, we doing Kobe Bryant moves. We trying to, we doing uh, not Steph Curry moves. We're trying to be like Kobe Bryant. We're trying to score like Kobe Bryant. We trying to perfect our craft like Kobe Bryant. When we go out there and work on our skills, we are not trying to gain so many, so much weight, and hopefully God that we pray to, to, to grow to be six nine. And run people over on court. We can't do that. We can. What we can control is about the Kobe, the, the Kobe Bryant mama mentality. Is something so special. If you ever look at the definition of hear Kobe talk about it, he said you need to outwork your opponent. Waking up at three in the morning, go get go. Get, Five a.m. Go, okay, go get some rest. Wake back up. Working three times a day. Getting up bright and early. Doing this every day. And by the time your opponent try to try to uh, catch up, he won't be able to catch up because you're already too far ahead. You already got the confidence, swagger. You already put the work in. The amazing thing about putting the work in, when you put the work in, you're so much confident because you're, you know this is how good I am. I already put the work in, so all I got to do is go out, go out there and practice what I did. You'll be so far ahead that they can't catch up. That's what happened to Cole Bryant. The Vince Carters of the world, the Ray Allens, the Paul Pierce, the uh, Tracy McGrady's, the Allen Iverson, they couldn't catch up to Cole Bryant working. His, he got the big, he got the biggest, not biggest, the deepest bag in NBA history. He worked on so many individual skills and so much that it was so hard for him to catch up. Every counter move he got, that's why he's unguardable. He's the most unguardable player in basketball history. Nothing, nothing on the court he can't do. So that's why in the hood we like, man, we want to play Kobe Brown. When we, when we, when we in class, what we do? Ball up, paper ball, ball up, paper ball. Kobe, that's what we do. Don't let the media fool us into thinking that. Somebody that's 6'9", a freak of nature, who is all-time great and spectacular, LeBron James, is somebody that, and you got these Rich Paul, somebody that we can be like. Somebody like Rich Paul, like the Rich Paul of the world, he was like, what the Rich Paul, what, Rich, what did Rich Paul say last time? The Rich Paul of the world talking about, uh, these guys perfectly do take LeBron James' name out because they jealous. Because they because they jealous of LeBron James. But we know what it is. Which power? Did you have you ever thought about what if these players just don't like LeBron James basketball game? What if they just not what if they just not a fan of it? That's what 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 if they say he's not talented like the Kobe's, the Michaels, the Kevin Rents? Why is that not an option for you? Why is it got to be straight hate? Because in history of 20 years of LeBron James playing, nobody has came close to playing like LeBron James, besides Ben Simmons. Nobody can accumulate and do what he do. He's a one of one. He's an all-time great. He's a football player playing basketball. He's so un he's, he's so hard to guard. It's because there's nothing you can do, bro. You, you're out of your weight class with playing play against LeBron James. You're just out of your weight class. And when you play against Kobe, you're just out of, you're just out class. 
skill wise. When you play against Michael, you outclass skill wise. These guys' skill level is so far and beyond everybody else. Like Kevin Durant said, he's like, bro, how do y'all not see that Mike and Kobe's skill level is just so far superior to everybody else? It's like, I, it's like, I don't even want to put Kobe two. I eight one A one B. I don't even. He like they scared. like I don't I don't and he's going on talking about Kyrie. He like I don't understand like like somebody like Kevin Durant, a, a true hooper. When he says that, we have to listen to him besides this is Nick Wright. We have to listen to him besides Shannon Sharp. When Trent McGrady, one of the greatest scores we ever seen in basketball history, say when he on Shannon Sharp podcast, he say talk about Kobe. Bad. Like Kobe bag is deeper than MJ's. Kobe took MJ game and 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 and, and added the three ball, the moves, like. It's just the Grand Hills of the world. Oh, like in the hood, we talk about nigga. It ain't a conversation like Kobe. Like we want to play like Kobe. We can't. We want to do what Kobe do. We want to shoot like Kobe. Fifty cent, nigga, on Griffin that trying. From three point range, I shoot better than Kobe. Like in the two thousand talk, that we, we was. I want to shoot like Kobe. We want to be like Kobe. We want to go out there and do a turnaround jump shot. We want to put a. We want to stick a J in your eye. Nothing more satisfied to me when I play basketball than. By sticking, I want to stick a J in somebody. Eye. I want to, I want to, I want a guy to defend me so good that when I turn around and shoot the jump shot, he all in my face, and it, and I turn around and I make it, and there's nothing he can do about it. I want to do, I want to be, I want to do to be demoralized. I want to demoralize the defense. I want to take their soul out. That's what Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan do. That's not what LeBron James can do. He does not have that skill level. Kobe Bryant is the is the Patrick Mahomes and Rogers of football. The skill set is just remarkable. He's out this world. But the media let you tell him, and I get it, I get it. Listen, I get the argument. Nobody played this great for 21 years straight. LeBron James, four championship, passed the ball. Uh, just a freak of nature. Uh, what, he, what he can do on the basketball court in a five-man game when it's five people on, a, on five people on the court, how, that, how his impact is. 10 straight finals. All oh, even though it be it's the least in conference. We all get it. But he underachieved. He still got four. When you look, even, when you, even if you're looking at that, we got four championships. Kobe Bryant has five. Because you, you talk about it's a team sport. You can't beat up Kobe only having two final MP out of these five championships because it's a team sport. Because Kareem got six championships on the two final MP. It's a team sport. It's a team sport. Because when we talk about his individual accolades, 05 07 winning the scoring championship and being first team all defense, him and Michael Jordan, I keep repeating that. The only players in my history got multiple seasons, winning multiple check, multiple scoring title, and being named first team all defense in that season when they won a scoring title. Only, only them two ever in the history of basketball. That's a stat that can prove that they're the best players. But when you, when we talk about that, they're like, oh, that's an individual award. But when we talk about championships, we got five. Well, he, he ain't win all MVPs of it. You got to make your mind up with that, what argument y'all want to base your argument on. And I love, I just love talking about this topic because there's so many nuances to it. That I, every every time I can talk about it, I can just nuance it and give people so much much information. And the people that really want to learn and understand it and have a nuanced conversation, they'll get it. But the people that don't, they just want to sit there and hate. They just want to be open minded. Like I'm open minded to a LeBron James. I, I understand. I can make argument. I'm watching LeBron James. I can make I make argument for him. But I can't make argument for him being better, like a better basketball player than Kobe and Michael. It's just there's no argument. Greatest career. Greatest athlete, that's an argument all day long for LeBron. Greatest and best basketball player, it's not an argument. I, I, I don't see an argument. It's, it's, like, I, I, I don't see an argument either way with Michael or Kobe with him. All right, hit that subscribe button. Hope y'all enjoy this great Christ Sunday morning. See you on the next one.